First came word of the murder charges, then the shocking news that O.J. Simpson failed to turn himself into police. Tonight, the former football star is on the run. I'm Randy Meyer, next in Live at 5, The Search for O.J. And I'm Wendy Rubovich. Also tonight, a tragic story from Minneapolis. A woman bicycling with a baby is struck and killed. Live at 5 is next. It may not look busy, but this Dodge Intrepid is processing 2 million pieces of information per second. Its remarkable computer network constantly analyzes data that helps it choose shift points, optimize fuel economy, even maintain the inside temperature you want. Just think, with five seconds left in this commercial, Intrepid still has about 10 million things to do. Now lease a well-equipped Intrepid for just $2.39 a month. This is KSTP Channel 5, St. Paul, Minneapolis. Live from your 24-hour news channel, this is Eyewitness News Live at 5. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, major developments in the story that's dominated the headlines all week long. Los Angeles police charge O.J. Simpson with the murders of his ex-wife, Nicole, and her friend, Ron Goldman. Simpson was to turn himself into police this morning. But as of this moment, he has yet to do so and is now a warrant out for the former football star's arrest. We'll head to California for the latest on this investigation. L.A. police have, within the hour, held a news conference there. The Reverend Jesse Jackson is in the Twin Cities tonight. You will hear his reaction to the Simpson investigation. Here at home, a woman bicycling with a baby is killed in a tragic accident in Minneapolis. And will it be an umbrella weekend? Dave Dahl will have the forecast. But first, here is what we know about the O.J. Simpson murder investigation. Word of the charges came down just after noon our time. Los Angeles District Attorney's Office says O.J. Simpson is charged with the murder of his ex-wife and her friend. The DA's office also says the charges include the special circumstance of multiple killings. And this means if convicted, Simpson could face the death penalty. Simpson has denied any involvement in these murders. Well, he has denied involvement, but tonight O.J. Simpson is a wanted man. As we said, Simpson was expected to turn himself into police this morning. Simpson now has disappeared. That information was released by the Los Angeles Police Department within the hour. Let's go right now to ABC's Gary Shepard. We believe we know who's responsible for the crime. We, we certainly have, uh, to, uh, to the degree of satisfaction necessary to us, uh, to obtain a warrant. Uh, we believe him to be the suspect, and that's why we're looking for him now. The complaint filed against O.J. Simpson claims he committed the brutal murders with malice of forethought and that he personally used a deadly and dangerous weapon, a knife, to carry out the slaying. O.J. Simpson's lawyer claims his client was at home awaiting arrival of a limousine to take him to the airport for a previously planned business trip at the time of the murders. But his blood type was found at the crime scene and there were reports of blood stains on his driveway and in his vehicle. Simpson has remained out of sight, except for attending his former wife's memorial service and funeral. At his home in the Brentwood section of Los Angeles, fans gathered in shock. It's so unbelievable that someone could do something of this magnitude, the gruesomeness of it, I just, I can't uh, conceive of it. I'm dev devastated about it. I'm very shocked. Uh, it's just unbelievable. I, it's just overwhelming. All right, that was a report coming to us from ABC's Gary Shepard, who is covering the story, is Los Angeles, rather. Well, of course, this is the story that for the past several days has dominated the news. Tonight, we hear from a couple of Minnesotans who are speaking out on what they think of the Simpson investigation. I, I think it's unfortunate the uh, sports hero myth situation that we get into, that we are badly surprised when our heroes suddenly kind of exhibit the darker side of their humanity. I think it was just an act of passion, particularly that her throat was slashed, and um, I think the guy probably, the, the waiter stumbled on the scene to return the glasses, and, and he was just, you know, caught, you know, busted OJ, and, and he uh, was just uh, killed because he stumbled on it, but I think he's guilty. We'll have more in this story later on World News Tonight. Well, he came to town to address the National Newspaper Publishers Convention, but the talk quickly turned to the O.J. Simpson investigation. Channel 5's Lou Harvin had a chance today to speak with the Reverend Jesse Jackson. Some of the nation's most powerful black newspaper publishers are in Minneapolis to talk about the future of their industry. But the subject that comes up today, the future of O.J. Simpson. 
Mick also, Jay is so known as such a public figure who has been such a good, wholesome image and role model, uh, the pain just abounds. Many will not speculate whether Simpson is guilty or not, saying instead they hope he's treated fairly. It still remains to be proven whether he is innocent or guilty. And I think that remains in the court and not in the community to make that decision. Reverend Jackson says he's met Simpson a few times over the years and finds this one of the most tragic stories he's ever had to comment on. Awful amount of pain involved in this. The two lives lost, the two children who must live in the aftermath of, of a dead mother, and now a charged father. It just shows how uncontrollable it seems violence has become in our society. The newspaper publishers are scheduled to be in the town tomorrow. Now for more breaking news on the O.J. Simpson investigation, we want to go live to Los Angeles, where we understand the Los Angeles District Attorney is holding a news conference. Yes. What specifically on the murder charge makes it that way? Was it like lying in wait? Do you have other... No, the special circumstance is the simple fact that it's a double homicide. That's it. Just what... No, I, you're begging the question. I had no conversations with Mr. Shapiro last night uh, or this morning. I had a conversation with Mr. Shapiro with others present on my speakerphone after Mr. Simpson had left the premises of where Mr. Shapiro uh, was. It was in, it's in the San Fernando Valley someplace. Uh, Mr. Shapiro expressed surprise that when Los Angeles Police Department showed up to make the, uh, the arrest, take him into custody, that Mr. Simpson could not be found. Well, just a minute. Just go ahead. When was Mr. Simpson officially informed that he would be placed under arrest? We made this office and the, uh, the Los Angeles Police Department uh, actually made contact with Mr. Shapiro this morning, approximately 8.30. I'm sorry? Oh, I'm, I'm not going to speculate as to what happened. There were physicians that uh, apparently were, um, were seen examining Mr. Simpson at a particular residence. That's all I know. Just a minute, Mr. Goodman. I do know a little about it, but I'm not at liberty, uh, I think, to really discuss it. I'm not, this could be proved to be wrong, but I'm not overly concerned about what's taking place at that location right now. Based on, ba based on... Again, the person you're listening to there is L.A. District Attorney Gil Garcetti talking about the surprise disappearance of O.J. Simpson upon news that he was supposed to show up for an arraignment in court in Los Angeles at 11 a.m. their time today. We will continue to follow this as it develops. In other news tonight, a bicycle accident in Minneapolis claims the life of a 43-year-old woman, but remarkably, a baby being towed in a bicycle trailer survives. The woman was run over by a semi-truck, turning at this intersection of Hiawatha and East 24th Street. The six-month-old child being towed in the bicycle trailer was taken to Hennepin County Medical Center, but apparently not hurt. It's not known if the woman killed is the mother of the child or if today's heavy rains played any part in this accident. An early morning fire in Oakdale leaves 55 people temporarily homeless and caused $200,000 in damage there. The fire broke out around 2 in a bedroom of a third floor apartment building. The alarm sounded and Oakdale police evacuated the building. No one was seriously injured. A lot of water damage, a lot of clothing damage, furniture. Just a lot of different stuff is gone. Three families lost their homes in that fire. Investigators say the fire is not suspicious. Cleanup has already begun, and some residents may eventually be able to move back in, according to the landlord. 
Well, now the latest on a story we first brought to you last night at 10, an explosion at a malting plant in Shakopee. Channel 5's Ezra Marcus has just returned from the scene with this report. It was just a, a good thing that nobody was killed. As a millwright at the Rar malt plant, Jeff Luke has always known about the dangers of grain dust. But the 37-year-old father and husband never expected to get caught in an explosion. His bandaged hands are painful reminders. Just after 10 last night, Luca heard the first of two blasts and began running. The second explosion blew him off his feet. Yeah, I remember being airborne and being pushed. And I, don't, I figure somewhere around 10 feet I flew, I don't know. This morning, Deputy State Fire Marshal Jamie Novak inspected the silos from the air while aboard Skycam 5. The force of the blast blew the tops off six silos and damaged two more. Investigators know barley dust was the cause of the explosion, but they don't know what ignited it. We're still searching for that. We've done some interviews of some of the employees who were working right at the time of the explosion, but we're still trying to pinpoint the exact uh, source of ignition, and I don't know if we'll be able to for sure find that. The blast rocked Shakopee and were heard and felt for miles. More than 80 firefighters from six departments responded, but the fire died down by the time they arrived. Two plant employees were treated for injuries at a local hospital. The total damage is estimated at more than $1 million. In Shakopee, Ezra Marcus, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Investigators say they hope to know more by early next week. Political news tonight takes us to the St. Paul Civic Center, where the Independent Republican State Convention is underway. Channel 5's Carrie Miller joins us live. Carrie, is there an endorsement there yet? Randy, there is not an endorsement here yet. It's probably, as you can see, we'll pan out here over the convention and show you what's going on here. They're taking a break at the moment. Alan Quist has just finished his speech. He got a tumultuous reception today. We'll show you a little bit of that here as soon as we can uh, pull that up. Delegates just cheered and waved signs and were absolutely delighted to see him come up to the podium to give his speech. Thought, thought we... Okay, here's a little bit of what Alan Quist had to say. I, as a candidate for governor, and those of us who are here are simply mainline Republicans nationwide. That is who we are, mainline Republicans. The governor's reception was much cooler. The delegates didn't boo or hiss as we had expected that they might, but neither were they very enthusiastic. But you know, people say, Arnie, did you come here today for a fight? And I say, you bet your life I did. <laughs> But I didn't come here to fight with Republicans. I came here to fight with the Liberal Democrats. Yeah. Governor Carlson obviously trying to strike some kind of a unifying note here to uh, what he knew was going to be a very cool collection of delegates. We are now waiting for the first ballot to be taken. It would be no surprise at all if Alan Quist was endorsed on the first ballot by as much as 70%. Hopefully we'll have some news on that at 6 o'clock. Randy? It certainly would seem that way anyway. Thanks, okay. Carrie. All right. Well, those accused fought to keep the documents sealed. But tonight, records of the alleged rape involving a former Minnesota hockey player are made public. Also had sentences handed down for some of the followers of the dead cult leader, David Koresh. And the world's biggest sporting event kicks off today in the city of Chicago. The news continues for Minneapolis, Hudson, and the rest of the Twin Cities area. Looking for a little friendly competition? Compare the Mazda 626 with a Toyota Camry DS. Mazda gives you better mileage and 14,000 miles more basic warranty coverage for almost $1,900 less than Toyota Camry. Lease a Mazda 626 DX with all this for just $195 a month right now. We make the exceptional affordable. Mazda. It just feels right. Nobody does it like you. The way that you do, nobody's got the power to please me. Now high traffic areas clean up quickly with the new Hoover Steam Vac. It's not a vacuum cleaner. It washes and extracts dirt and stains. Yet it's as easy to use as an upright cleaner. Deep cleaning, forward and back. Hoover, nobody does it like you. 
Mexican cooking, good Mexican, it should be playful. A little surprise. So I have this idea. The Santa Fe enchilada. I don't roll it. I stack it. Layers of chicken, cheese, roasted tomato sauce, zesty black bean relish. One on top of the other. So in every bite, you taste it all. Hey, you want to try it? <laughs> I make you another one. The Santa Fe enchilada at Chi-Chi's, where the recipes are as fresh as the food. Just announced a special lease bonus on America's best-selling truck. For a very limited time, get a $500 lease bonus on the Ford F-Series pickup. Pay just $2.39 a month for 24 months with 10% down. Just $2.39 a month for all this. A driver's airbag, rear anti-lock brakes, air, power windows and locks, and much more. Just $2.39 a month for 24 months with a special $500 factory lease bonus. Hurry, this is a very limited time offer. Read all about it at your Northland Ford dealer. Dave, about 12.30, I got into the biggest rainstorm I'd been in in a long time Today, out there on yeah. the roads. It only lasted about 15 minutes. It, came it through was hard. It was very hard. And we yeah. have video. We have, we have photographers all over you the world. You know what? I had a sneaking suspicion. Yeah, I knew you would. <laughs> um, we did get some great video. Look at this. this is, these, now, watch this. Watch how these 40 to 48 mile an hour winds takes these umbrellas and uh, gives... Whoa, there goes oh one. Gosh. Yeah, there goes the table. It's a good thing there weren't any people out there. And uh, there goes another one <laughs> flying away. <laughs> Ah, another one. Wow. Three of them bite the dust. Yeah, those winds were strong as that line of storms came through. The same one you were in, Randy, and uh, did cause a little bit of damage out there in the outdoor cafe at Nicky's in Minneapolis. But uh, those storms are now creating some problems down to the south of us. But first, look at, as we look to the south and west of the Twin Cities using live tower cam, some of those bigger storms are really rumbling across southern Minnesota. Officially out at the airport, Right now here in the Twin Cities, 82. Yes, it's still muggy out there. Dew point, 73, 74% relative humidity. And we still have a south wind. Even though we had those storms come through, we are still on the warm side of that front. 30.04, the barometric pressure, and that currently is falling. And there are some big storms down to our south, as I was saying earlier. The largest line of storms extends from around Brookings, South Dakota, across to Mankato, and right across to about the Red Wing area. I'm going to zoom in on those southern counties because uh, that's the area that's receiving some heavy weather right now. The counties that are involved with severe thunderstorm warnings out for another uh, half an hour to 45 minutes are uh, right here at Watanwan, northern Martin County. They had a 65-mile-an-hour wind gust report right around Mankato, so that covers the northern parts of Blue Earth County, then Waseca and Steele counties now getting involved with that line of storms. And it's been sitting there pretty much for the last half an hour to 45 minutes. The storms are not moving much, and you can see these flashing areas of yellow and orange. That means very heavy rainfall, the possibility of hail, and uh, these have been producing some strong gusty winds as well. This line is actually the outflow that came through us. In other words, there was a cold rush of air, dropped our temperature by 20 degrees, and that's set up in southern Minnesota, and that's where these storms are firing right now. That activity will continue to be strong, and for that reason, the National Severe Storms Forecast Center has issued a couple of severe storm watches out for the southern part of the state until 10 o'clock for southwestern Minnesota, until 7 o'clock, including us here in the Twin Cities, but most of that is to our south. The Channel 5 forecast, then for overnight tonight, kind of an active one. Most of the real heavy weather will stay south of us at least for the next six hours or so. We still have a scattered storm in there, 62 for the overnight low for tomorrow, though. Back up, very warm and steamy, up to 82 degrees. Scattered storms, the most likely time for that will be the afternoon. However, we could catch one in the morning as well. As we look ahead, it gets really warm and humid again. 88 for a high again on Sunday and again on Tuesday. So, yes, the waffling front, I think it's going to be here the rest of the summer. Maybe an umbrella would be the gift of choice for Father's Day. <laughs> we're, not gonna get, we're not going to get rid of that front. Mm -hmm. It'll be a while, huh? We can't kick it out. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. The alleged rape happened two years ago. And tonight, former North Star hockey player Dan Quinn is making news all over again. And in the health capsule, fighting medical problems without antibiotics. And a hot rod show in St. Paul. The news continues for Mendota Heights, Ham Lake, and the rest of the Twin Cities area. Stop Walgreens and you'll find super deals for Dad. Get him the perfect Hallmark Father's Day card. Satisfy his sweet tooth with Russell Silver candy. Or choose from a huge selection of designer fragrances. Walgreens also has personal optics reader glasses. $14 values on sale, only $7.99 a pair. And get 20% more free with the Bonus Edge Shaving Gel. Now three for a dollar after rebate. Make this Father's Day special with a little help from Walgreens. I carry in my mind the picture of a child who was never born. A child I aborted. A picture that changes as the years go by. 
I imagine him growing tall, with dark hair and eyes. Again and again, my mind returns to that ghost of a child who would have been 12 this spring. If you think abortion is an easy choice, that you can just forget about it, it's not true. You can't. From Missoula to Beluga, like the hatch you do, Tallahassee. Lease a new caravan for only $209 a month during the Dodge Caravan Summer Vacation Celebration. Plus, you also get a great list of features on the minivan that already exceeds 1998 car safety requirements. New York State's Golden Gate. Only from the people with America's number one selling minivan, your Dodge dealer. Enjoy great vacation plans, Dodge Caravan. Menards has the products for those tough cleaning tasks. The shop vac cleans wet or dry, indoors or out, on sale for $28.83. The six-gallon model is just $49.95 and also can be used as a blower. Clean siding, cars, decks, and more with Campbell Hausfeld pressure washer. This electric pressure washer is just $169 after mail-in rebate. Discover low prices at Menards. Save big money at Menards. The alleged incident happened two years ago, but tonight the Minnesota Supreme Court is releasing a police report alleging former North Stars player Dan Quinn raped an underage New Hope woman in a Bloomington hotel. The high court's decision recounts some details of the case, including Pittsburgh Penguin star Mario Lemieux having sex with a woman in the same room at the same time of the alleged rape. The court released the file under the Minnesota Data Practices Act, even though the hockey players tried to use that same act to keep the file sealed. Bloomington Police Chief Bob Lutz. It has a lot to do with the people's right to know and government being open to the people. And the Joe Lunchbox gets treated the same way as some prominent person. Attorneys for the alleged rape victim are studying the file to determine whether to file a civil suit. We'll keep you updated. In world headlines, the sentences range from 5 to 40 years. Eight David Koresh followers are sentenced for crimes ranging from weapons possession during a crime to manslaughter. The cult members had been convicted in the shooting deaths of four federal agents. They died in a gun battle at the cult compound Waco last year. President Clinton says it's time to pass a crime bill that lets Americans, especially children, live in safety. We cannot survive as a people if our children cannot grow up safe and free from fear in good schools on safe streets doing wholesome, constructive things. That was President Clinton's message as he spoke in Chicago at the nation's largest housing project. Clinton praised the project's residents for doing what they can to make things better. Also in Chicago, the kickoff of the world's largest sporting event, the World Cup of Soccer. That, for the first time, is being held in the United States. The United States is honored to play host to this magnificent celebration. The love of soccer is now a universal language that binds us all together. Oprah Winfrey and Diana Ross, just a couple of the celebrities on hand for that. Health news coming up next. A look at antibiotics. Are doctors prescribing too many of them? Some physicians say yes. Find out why when Live at Five continues. This ain't paste, big and chunky salsa. Well, woohoo, dog is. Paste is made with big chunky tomatoes, onions, and peppers. Perfect for dipping by folks in San Antonio. Who know what salsa should taste like? Well, this stuff's made in New York City. New York City. Jake, it's time you switch brands. <laughs> Pick up a big and chunky one. Pick up a paste. You know, every day is low price day at Sport Mart. And now we've got some incredible values on Berkeley. Just in time for Father's Day. Like these Berkeley fishing rods. Now through Father's Day, get an extra 25% off any Mirage or Expert fishing rod in stock. Mirage was $14.94, now only $10.92. Expert was $19.94, now only $14.92. Find a lower price somewhere else, get double the difference back. The Sport Mart low price. It's every day on everything you want at Sport Mart. You'll find what you're looking for at Sport Mart. The best of the old is now the best of the new. Your old favorites are back. The 1995 Chevy Impala SS. The 1995 Monte Carlo. All new, better than ever. If you liked us then, you'll love us now. Be the first to drive one. The first to own one. See your Heartland Chevy Geo dealers. 
today. This summer, the best thrillers aren't just at the movies. Read Black Market. From the number one best-selling author of Along Came a Spider, Black Market. She said she liked things relaxed, eclectic, definitely unmatched. She said she liked things casual and feet up comfortable. She said she likes interesting little corners and a funny spot to bask in. That's Gabbard's too, and it's a new way to do a room. Now open downstairs at Gabbard's in the Galleria. Leading today's health headlines, antibiotics, they once seemed invincible. But today they're becoming ineffective against some common bacteria, including children's ear infections. Doctors Keith Sainert and Michael Schmidt have just written a book about this growing problem. In today's Doctor of the Day, they tell you how you can fight off these infections. Now stick your tongue out. Way out. Fourth grader Michael Erickson from Jackson has been taking antibiotics for an ear infection. It's the most common use for these drugs. Yet studies find that children getting antibiotics for chronic ear infections have two to six times more recurrent infections than children who do not take antibiotics. They still look to find it'll cure everything. Minnesota doctors Keith Sainert and Michael Schmidt say antibiotics are not the miracle drugs everyone has come to believe. They are often overused and misused. The mother gives the doctor a look in the eye and the look in the eye says, do something, Buster, or uh, I'll be angry. Patients like Michael need to be carefully screened. Most ear infections are not caused by bacteria, but by viruses, even food allergies, and they aren't treatable with antibiotics. So one of the things to look at with children is to avoid introducing the high allergen foods very early in life, uh, wheat, corn, dairy products in many cases. Both doctors prescribe limited use of antibiotics, and they encourage patients to find other ways to build their natural defenses. You have to remember that there's a lot of things we can do beyond just focusing on antibiotics. Now, Dr. Sainer says when your child is sick, or if you're sick, you should ask for a culture or a sensitivity test. He says, remember, it's your body or your child's body. And he says to find out if there's anything else you can do for your infection besides taking the drugs or the antibiotics. There you go. All right, Dave Dahl will join us with an updated forecast next on Live at 5. First, let's check Wall Street. On this Friday, the Dow closed down more than 34 points back after this. Looking at Civic, Saturn SL, or Corolla? Better look a little more. Because the Hyundai sales explosion is on, and you can buy a new Elantra for just $92.04. It's over $3,000 less than Corolla. Elantra's got more standard features, including airbag protection, and two years scheduled service at no charge. Plus, make no down payment and no monthly payments for 90 days. But hurry, because at $92.04, sales are way up, and they're moving out fast. Come in for the best deals during the sales explosion at your nearest Hyundai dealer now. Denny's Original Grand Slam Breakfast is now just $1.99. $1.99? Are you out of your mind? Crazy. You get two eggs, two fluffy hotcakes, two bacon, and two sausages for just $1.99. $1.99? Are you out of your mind? The Grand Slam, the most famous cooked-to-order breakfast in America, just $1.99. They usually don't make mistakes here at Lanny Denny's. No mistake. At participating Denny's, the Grand Slam is just $1.99. $1.99? Are you out of your mind? The Original Grand Slam for $1.99. How long can this last? When I was your age, we didn't have nice soft couches like this. No, sir. We'd sit on a chunk of wood. We didn't have gifts either. No, waking up the next morning. That was your gift. One thing that does stay the same are the exceptional values at Cole's Father's Day Super Saturday. We didn't have Cole's either. We had other stores. Yes, and they weren't like Cole's. Cole's Father's Day Super Saturday. Tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Only at Cole's. Is this for me? You're a good boy. Gonna take to the streets and spend some time on the road. I need a truck that'll take me where I wanna go. I need a Dodge, mm, Dodge. A four by four, a four by two, yeah, two Dodge Ram is changed with all of the rules, yeah, Dodge. From America, truck stop, Dodge. Now, get up to thirteen hundred dollars in discount from package value on a Ram pickup at America's Truck Stop, your Dodge dealer. 
new era in the world of television broadcasting. In Jackson, Mississippi today, these people were among the first in line as the new digital satellite system went on sale today. These small satellite dishes will receive up to 150 channels from a broadcast satellite that was launched into space last December. The system is a project of United States Satellite Broadcasting, whose parent company also owns KSTP. Most of the programming will be generated from these huge transmitters at the company's headquarters, which is in Oakdale, Minnesota. Looking for good things out yeah, of that. Dave, exciting. quick update on some of those severe thunderstorms that are rumbling through the southern part of the state. We're going to take a quick look at Doppler Radar 5. That has the heaviest activity staying south of the metro, but still some powerful thunderstorms causing severe thunderstorm warnings for Watton Martin County, Blue Earth, Wasika, and now moving into northern Steele, as well as southern Rice County around south of Faribault. All those thunderstorms capable of very heavy rainfall. So uh, please stay tuned to Channel 5. We'll give you the updates. We have some scattered storms in our forecast, low down to 62. All right. Thanks. Thank you much. We have an update now on our top story. As reported earlier, a manhunt is underway right now for O.J. Simpson, wanted for murder. Simpson promised to surrender to Los Angeles police this morning, but then disappeared. L.A. Prosecutor Gil Garcetti made this open threat just a few moments ago. If you in any way are assisting Mr. Simpson in avoiding justice, Mr. Simpson is a fugitive of justice right now. And if you assist him in any way, you are committing a felony. Think about it. And I'll guarantee you that if there is evidence establishing that you've assisted Mr. Simpson in any way to avoid his arrest, you will be prosecuted as a felon. Of course, more on World News tonight. And that's going to do it for us tonight. All right. We'll be back here at 6 o'clock. Thanks for watching, everyone. Good night. A warning from the Los Angeles District Attorney after charging a missing O.J. Simpson with two